Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number three. We have lost the first two wars. This war, we really got to win or else we're going to slip uh, down to tier three. All right. Uh, looks like we're going up against an alliance call. Oh, I do not know. Is that German? Um, let's see who they've banned. Oh, wow. They banned all the better uh, tech champs, so I already know what they're trying to plan. Um, so my Warlock, who I knew was going to get banned uh, sometimes. Uh, I Doom, I don't have to worry about that. I wasn't going to bring him on attack anyway. Uh, Nimrod, they got him too. Man. Okay. So let's see. Let's take a look at what they got planned then. I'm curious now. All right, nobody on that path, uh, on that node. And then we've got Agent Venom. Hmm. I'm trying to think. He, he, I don't think he benefits from the node. Because I don't think he gets armor ups. So he'll just be a regular Agent Venom. And then we've got Mole Man, who can be a pain. Let's see. Ooh, future Ant-Man. Oh, that's not going to be a fun fight. Um, can Overseer do that fight? I don't know. I only fought him for, the like, really the first time in war. Um, I think last war, and he was tricky. He gets a lot of armor ups. I don't know. That fight, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oh, and we got Bishop, who, of course, um, I would normally... Oh, my goodness. And they took out Nimrod and Warlock. Okay, okay. And I do. So, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm just looking at the people they have me fighting. Look at this. That's not going to be a fun fight. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay. Um mm. This is this is uh these guys are are, are they putting up a tough defense here. Oh man, I'm trying to think. I may have to discuss this. Um Let's see. Yeah, and Bishop I'll have to look over my um Oh, wait. He doesn't get armor ups, right? So, if he doesn't get armor ups, I don't have to worry about bringing a bleed immune. So, I can bring someone who's just uh, a good bishop counter. Of course, they ban, like, the best one, but that's okay. We're gonna, we, we got some people. We'll, we're, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna see. Wow. I don't think I've fought uh, Jessica Jones. Oh, man. That's going to be a pain. Oh, yeesh. Um, and a prowess. Okay. And then I Doom. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to... I'm going to have to talk this over. You guys may have to wait and see because I need to make sure that we got all these things covered. That um, Mole Man seems to be uh, annoying but doable. But, oh, oh boy. My path is, is lined with some uh, toughies here. Yeah, well, well, first, we're going to have to talk about who's going to be a good counter for who, each one on this path, and the minis, and then who has the best, you know, and the space to uh, bring them. That's going to be a pain. And uh, Boss Island, uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's too much for me to think about right now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, boy, that bishop. 
I'm trying to think who else is a good counter to Bishop, but we'll we'll find out. I'll I'll do some research. Um and we'll find out. All right. Let me get to talking and we'll be back and you'll see uh what we decided and who I'm going to be going in with and who I'm going to take who with. All right, so be right back. All right, this is the team that I decided to go in with. Uh, Magneto, Ultron, and my boy, Nick Fury. All right, so we're going to end up fighting that future Ant-Man that nobody seemed to want to fight. And, well, that fight was interesting. I've never fought him uh, on that node before. And uh, you guys are going to see how that goes. So anyway, first fight here is against Agent Venom. He's not hard, but he is annoying. Very annoying. Mainly because of that tenacity. And I have noticed that the AI will... It's almost like they can trigger tenacity when they want to. So it used to be that it was on a timer. And, and if you um, didn't see it pop up, you knew that they weren't going to fire it. Because it's a, a chance. You know, it's not 100%, right? So you would wait, just delay your attack a little bit. No tenacity. You were good to go. What I have noticed is a lot of times now when you do that, they will... Hit tenacity and attack you almost simultaneously. So you can't really do that. So I basically fight him basically uh, immune, like uh, he's stun immune. Okay. Now, Ultron, my Ultron is not uh, rank four yet. And you can see that he has some power burns because he has armor ups. And that is because of the attacker tactic. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, as long as he has an armor up <clears throat> and he's just waiting for my armor to go down <laughs> before he fires his special attack, but I can just get more armor ups. So there, and you see his tenacity, he's just ripping, ripping everything away. Okay, but doesn't matter. Okay, I hate dealing with that special one, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. I can just block it. Yep. Yeah and just keep on going so not a, a difficult fight but that tenacity is annoying don't rely on trying to punish uh anything really other than you know like the heavy attacks or you know um his special one attack is a good one other than that pretty pretty easy fight okay as you can see uh I i'm going to take ultron up at some point in time all right, so we've got done with that mini, and now the middle is open, and I get to fight this guy. Now, I watch videos, and it looked very easy in the video, very straightforward, and that is why I brought Magneto. Magneto tears him up, all right? My Magneto's only rank three. In the video, that Magneto was rank four. What difference does that make? Mm, not that much, but you'll see. And you can see I'm, I'm not taking any chances. I put on an invulnerability boost, uh, and I'm looking at the power back boosts, using them, okay? Uh, because I did not want to play around. All right, so you can see here all of the fun nodes. That vigorous assault. Yeah, let's watch. So the basic thing here, and look at that. That caught me. So now I'm like, whoa, well, that's my invulnerability. And he's, okay, he got the regen and I'm not shutting things down. And now I'm in the corner. And that just drove me nuts. Because in the video, that didn't happen. In the video, it looked like this. Easy. See? Block. No problem. Don't have to worry about trying to evade it. All right? And then look at that. He's unblockable. 
And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Because I thought the magnetism would shut that down. And so I'm just like, all right, I'm almost dead here. So what I need to do is fire off that special three as quick as possible. Okay, here we go. We got 20. Um, I don't know why it didn't double. I must have uh, got a little nervous. There we go. It wore out, but I want 40. Still not doing it. Not sure why. Boom, there's the 40. Let me tell y'all something. My hands after this fight were shaking. But one special three is all it took. But I was caught by the fact that it didn't shut down that um, unblockable when he got a regen and it didn't shut down the regen. And so if I have to fight that fight again, I can't keep dexing because that's what triggered that. I have to basically parry, attack, parry, attack, and just keep moving forward. And if I do dex, know that that's gonna happen and I can wait it out or something. All right, it, it's a pretty straightforward fight, but you gotta be careful. All right, so now we've got Bishop. Ultron is a beautiful um, counter to him. Thank you, I still had the invulnerability boost on. And what you wanna do here is you wanna bait, I mean, um, push him to a special two. You don't wanna deal with that uh, special one, as you saw. But look at this, bam, bam, fight's over, all right? Other than that special one that I should have done like a, a four hit combo and then block and then punish him after he did his uh, special two, because the special two is easier to evade. Um, that's what I should have done, but messed up, but it's okay, he's down. All right, and you can see I'm sitting here that's because I needed a little bit of a break after both of those fights. Just, just, just relax. This fight here is another fight that I saw and was like, okay, it looks like Nick Fury should be able to handle this. Bleed her out before she gets all those charges up. We should be good. Because if we don't get her down quick, it's going to look ugly. But I figured... Nick Fury's got both his lives. We should be able to, with both of them, take her. But she's annoying. All right, so you see here. And, and keep in mind, this is the first time I'm fighting her here on this node. And I don't really know how to fight her. All right, she's hitting me up. That's fine. But you see that blue icon up there? We don't want that up there at like five. <laughs> okay. But it gets up there. Okay, bam. Now we in trouble. Because we need to bait this uh, special out. Look at her. She's just heavy attacking. And then she's all smacking me up. I'm in the corner now. And look at this. Now she's unstoppable. And I'm in the corner. And I'm like, okay, what we doing? Oh, I can't hit her. She's still unstoppable. Oh, Nick's new life. Bam. Okay. Whew. That was nerve wracking. So I had a rough time on my path this war. Yeesh, let me tell you. Um, but if I remember correctly, yeah. Um, he tried going in here. I forgot who he went in with. Oh, was it Gallon? I think he tried to use Gallon here. And I wasn't too sure about Gallon, but you Gallon will work, but you have to stick with special ones and you have to use a um a, a advanced power boost power start one you've got to do that or else you're not going to get enough power to even get to your specials so i think that's what happened to him now i advocated nick fury for this and just nuke him down so We've got Nick Fury on his uh, second life. And as you can see, he doesn't need to worry about his specials. Done. 
Nick Fury could have soloed that fight, as I, you know, suggested. Um, but someone else suggested the uh, gallon. I think the Nick Fury would have been much easier and uh, straightforward uh, for that particular fight. All right. I believe that was it for me for this particular war. And we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war, the first war of the season that we have won. And it was definitely a must win. If we wanted to stay in tier two, we had to win this war. All right. Um, our leadership had, a, a, you know, a serious talk with us and said, look, if you guys want to, to stay in platinum two, you guys got to do better. We got to buckle down. We got to communicate more. We got to go into super serious, serious mode. He didn't say it like that, but you understand. And we came together and we did it. All right. So we, we have to keep on doing that. We got to bring our A game every time. Uh, we, we are definitely capable of it, as you can see here. Let me uh, take a look there. See, we're capable of it. OK, um, so let's see if the uh, rest of the season goes much better than the way it started. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.